Thank you all. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Oh, behave. You're very sweet. Stop it, stop it. Oh, you have. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, David said it all. Um, I was utterly stunned by Panty's speech. I thought it was one of the most moving and eloquent calls against oppression of any kind, and that was in the package we just saw. It wasn't just a, uh, against homophobia. It was against all kinds of oppression for all kinds of people, and it was, it was like any great speech. It was, uh, it was suppressed rage, um, which was utterly controlled and as rhetorically perfect as a speech can be, and a model of its kind. And um, when they asked me to present this award, I said I'd be happy. I'd, be, I'd swim across the Irish Sea to do it. There are not many occasions when one is as touched by something. It's a remarkable thing that she did. And I think it's important for Rory Panty um, that everything she does is kind of addressed to the sort of person who is in County Mayo, or in my case, I feel the same thing in Norfolk, in the deepest rural parts of the world, where it isn't so easy to be yourself. And being yourself is what it's all about. Um, my great Irish hero put it, as always, better than anybody else. Oscar Wilde said, you have to be yourself because everyone else is already taken. <laughs> and, for the simple yet beautiful thing of being herself and himself, this award goes most deservedly to the wonderful Panty Bliss. Do come up. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 Look at this. She, is <laughs> she has just come here. You've just run off the stage at the Project Arts Theatre and yeah. come here and just made the most glamorous entrance of the entire <laughs> evening. If I wasn't so in awe, I'd probably hate you a little bit right now. Well, you're making me feel giant and huge and ungainly. <laughs> Swings and roundabouts, <laughs> swings and roundabouts. What does this Sorry, award mean? Sorry, can I just say, oh my God, course, Stephen Fry! Oh. 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 <laughs> I just had to get that out first. Naturally, okay, naturally. Okay. What does this award mean to you? Um, it, it actually makes me feel a little guilty because, um, you know, I. I I just kind of feel like I get all the attention because I'm the prettiest, but, <laughs> but there are so many other people who do what I've been doing. They've been doing it for longer and better, and they slog away in boring offices. You know, the people that gain lesbian equality network or marriage equality or they gain, yeah, you know, lesbian gay federation. All of those people have been doing it for years and years and years, and they got us to the point where a drag queen was allowed to get up on the stage of the Abbey and, and make a speech. You know, so I kind of feel like that this isn't really for me, but. I'm taking it anyway, <laughs> and, um, and I'll also say that, you know, when I was a kid in Ballon Road, County Mayo, if I had... <laughs> That's all my family there. Um, if I had seen somebody like me getting a People of the Year award on RTE, mm. it would have meant the world to me. Yeah. And so, in, in that sense, I'm really thrilled to get this because I know there are 13-year-old Rory's out there watching the television in Ross Common or wherever you are, and mm. it gets better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it for that reason, I'm thrilled about it. Thank you. It's lovely. Panty's being very, I think, modest because mm. Yes, she did stand on the shoulders of giants, and that's saying something, you know, to make the address that she made, but she put it so well, as you said, that suppressed righteous rage mm. communicated so well. Is that what you connected with? Completely. I've heard and I've been at um, charity events where people have spoken out for gay equality and for other kinds of equality, and they've done it usually very well and convincingly, but none of them has had the, the authenticity, the strength, the extraordinary and brilliant uh, self-deprecating 
courage and fortitude you showed. You, you laugh at your own middle class upbringing, the fact that you went to an art college you think disqualifies you from being, as it were, someone who can paint themselves as a victim. So there's no self-pity in what you mm. said at all. And there's nothing that puts people off more than self-pity. Uh, and I think um, if you haven't seen it, just go to YouTube and look up Panty Bliss, Abbey Theatre, and you will see this speech of six or seven minutes, perhaps, and it will blow you away. You will be utterly transported. It's been described as the greatest piece of rhetoric in Ireland for 200 years. I don't know who, the, who it was 200 years ago, but they were very impressive. Uh, yes, and they I would were. Say, <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably someone supporting the French Revolution or something. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, very well said, and thank you so much for joining us tonight yeah, to make this award. I know you really, really wanted to be here. That's such do. an honour to have Stephen oh, do that. That was, that was amazing. Good Ladies and gentlemen, Panty Bliss, winner of the People of the Year Award this evening.